Hi, people. We hope you're having an amazing day today. As you all know, there is nothing we like more than historical dramas. We love to visit the old times and see how people were living back then. The aesthetic, the simplicity, the nature, and the overall charm of those periods become even better when a healthy dose of romance is spread over it. We believe some original screenplays capture the historical eras perfectly. However, in our opinion, some of the best shows of the era were adapted from some classic books that were making wonders in capturing the time that they were written. Our favorite author in that sense is Jane Austen. This brilliant English woman was one of her kind. While many books of her era were suffering from pretentious writing and deceitful descriptions, she was pretty accurate in her observations and analysis of the society that she was living in. Even though she is being categorized as a romance author, for the most part, we believe this isn't a categorization that is enough to capture all the beauty and details of her work. Yes, romance was taking a big role in her pieces. But there was also socioeconomic critique, as well as the feminist one that cannot be overlooked while reading her books. This means that when watching shows or movies adapted from her work, we should once again keep in mind that these are not only romance movies but also accurate analyzes of 19th century English society. One of her most prominent works in that sense is in Sanditon. Despite being incomplete, Sanditon stands out with its commentary on race and gender discrimination within the society. It's clever, witty, and romantic as always, and we cannot get enough of it. With Andrew Davies' adaptation onto the TV screen, we feel like we're blessed with a perfect period drama that has a lot to offer. That being said, we have one complaint. Theo James, who left the series at the end of season one, is still missing from the show and we demand him back for season three. The season one of Sanditon was the perfect introduction to the world of this small vacation town in England. We got the chance to know the high society, as well as the working class, and witnessed how the two groups interact with each other. In the meantime, our protagonist, Charlotte, was staying in the middle of the socioeconomic class structure as she was the daughter of a farmer. So she could easily climb up the social stairs and join the high society, or can do the opposite and marry a working class man. She had chances for both scenarios, but in the end, fell in love with a gentleman, Sidney, played by Theo James. At the end of the season, though, Sidney left her by sacrificing himself to save his brother's business. It was utterly heartbreaking, and we still cannot believe it. That being said, Charlotte didn't have difficulty finding new suitors in second season. Two men, Lennox and Colborne, have actively fought over her and we couldn't get enough of it. That being said, we feel like the reason why Charlotte is struggling to pick between these two men is the fact that she still couldn't get over Sydney completely. Therefore, we believe she needs closure with him in season three so that she can move on. Thus, in our opinion, James will return in season three of the show, not as a lover, but as a friend who she needs to have a long talk with. We expect the new season to arrive in the spring of 2023 with a new trailer being released in March 2023. Are you ready to welcome Sanded in season three? Have you enjoyed this series so far? Let us know what you think in the comments below and don't forget to like, subscribe and share the video. Thank you for watching. See you soon.